this video, we are going to understand the lesson birth, which is in your 11 class syllabus. So let's begin with the lesson. The lesson birth is written by A.J. Cronin. Birth is an excerpt. That is, an excerpt is actually a part of a bigger work or an extraction from a bigger work. So the bigger work is The Citadel, which is a novel which is written by A.J. Cronin. It was first published in the year 1937. Birth is an excerpt from this novel. Andrew Manson is an idealistic, newly qualified doctor. He arrives from Scotland to work as assistant to Dr. Page in the small, fictitious Welsh mining town of Drinify. It is also called as Blandly in some adaptations. He quickly realizes that Page is unwell and disabled and that he has to do all the work for a meager wage. So, for less amount of money, he had to do all the work. Andrew Manson is a newly qualified doctor. And this excerpt is from The Citadel, which was published in the year 1937. Andrew Manson has just graduated out of medical school. It is an account of how the newly graduated medical practitioner helped in bringing Joe Morgan and Susan's child into this world, despite going through a tough time with his girlfriend, Christine. So Andrew Manson's girlfriend's name is Christine. He's helping the people, Joe Morgan and Susan, to deliver a child of theirs. It relates how a medical fresher handles a child delivery case in a mysterious way and brings back life in a seemingly dead born child. In doing so, he applies his medical textbook knowledge as well as intuition. He finds that textbook knowledge alone is not sufficient to handle such cases. The story expresses the anxiety and excitement of the doctor Andrew Manson and his team. Andrew and Christine are having a fight. In the beginning of the story, Andrew Manson has recently passed out from a medical school. He was returning home after a disappointing evening with his girlfriend, Christine, after having an unpleasant time, an unpleasant fight with her. Andrew is asked to help. He reaches his home after a fight with his girlfriend, that is Christine. It was midnight and when he reached near his house, Joe Morgan was outside his house waiting for him. He was requested by Joe Morgan to attend to his wife immediately. She was expecting her first child. Andrew agreed to go despite it was late night. Though it was late night, then also he agreed to go with him. Both Joe and Andrew reached to 12 Blainer Terrace. So this is the address where the two used to live. Joe Morgan and his wife Susan used to live at this address. Upon reaching, Joe tells Andrew that he's too anxious to be going inside. So Andrew walks in alone. At the patient's house, Andrew saw that the lady who was in a small bedroom lit by an oil lamp and she was being attended by a midwife. Mrs. Morgan was very serious. Andrew examined the patient and could understand that it would take some time for the delivery to take place. So he took a break. Andrew was lost in thoughts. We just got to know in the beginning of the lesson that he had a fight with his girlfriend. Susan's mother had grey hair. She looked 70. She was wise but tense at the moment. She offered him some tea. While he was sipping his tea, he began to think about his girlfriend, Christine. Andrew's mind started wavering in stray thoughts. He recalls how his friends too are having a hard time in their relationships. He started thinking about Barnwell, who was foolishly devoted to a woman who deceived him meanly. Then he thought of Edward Page, who was married to the ill-natured Borden and was now living unhappily, apart from his wife. Andrew thought all marriages were a dismal failure. Susan's mother tells him, 
how worried Susan is for the child because the situation is complicated. So, they were having their first child after 20 years of marriage. So, it was a very difficult situation and it was very complicated. After performing the procedure, the child is born. But the child is born lifeless. Andrew gazed at the child and a shiver of horror passed over him. He was torn between two emotions. He wanted to save the child, but he wanted to save the mother also. Andrew was to decide whom he wanted to attend first, the child or the mother. Andrew gave the child to the nurse and turned his attention to the mother who was unconscious. He chose to look after Susan first. He injected her with a few medicines and when he realized that her heart was regaining its strength, he turns towards the child. It was a boy in perfect shape. The midwife was thoroughly frightened. Taking it as a still child, as, an, as a dead child, she had dumped it beneath the bed amongst soaked newspapers. Andrew pulled out the child. Andrew could understand that the boy looked pale white. It was a case of suffocation due to lack of oxygen and excess of carbon dioxide in the blood. He instructed the nurse to get hot and cold water. The nurse was reluctant at first, but she got him what he needed. He juggled the child in hot and cold water. So first he dipped the child in hot water, then in cold water. He was juggling the baby here and there. Simultaneously, after all his efforts, the child still lay lifeless. Finally, the child heaved and got his breath. His body was no longer still, leaving everyone surprised. The child started to cry and the nurse shouted with joy, It's come, it's come alive. Andrew handed her the child and went outside. So, this was the miracle that took place. The child started to breathe. It started to cry. He found Joe on the pavement. He had a tense but expectant face. The doctor disclosed that all was well. Joe was relieved to know that both the mother and the child were safe and sound. So, this was the lesson. Birth. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button. Stay tuned for more.